All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz with me. We're getting ready to bring you some middle school football live here at Tyson Field here in Homerville, Clinch County. Lanier County has traveled up the road a little bit. And we're going to have a middle school football game between Lanier County and Clinch County here in just a minute. The lightning detector went off, but I think it's all clear now. The referees are coming back on the field. So y'all stick around, be patient, kick off it until 6. So we got 7, 8 minutes. That'll give me a chance to give our sponsors a shout out. We have the new Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed for all your hunting needs and everything, man. Go see Tanya in Fargo now and in Homerville. Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program. Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia. Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Lutz Brown Insurance, Douglas Metal, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Homerville Jewelers, Hueys, Dre's Snack Shack, Napa of Homerville, Burt CPA, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Camping World of Alasta, Pizza Inn in Waycross, and Clayton Homes of Waycross. And Clinch Memorial Hospital. They're our sponsors. Man, we appreciate them. They're the ones that make it possible for me and Daniel to run up and down the road. And we got a long trip Friday. We're headed to Macon County where the Panthers travel to play the number nine. Panthers are number four. And Macon County is ranked number nine. So that's going to be a top ten battle this week. Panthers have never beaten Macon County and Macon. So that's a... Something Coach Tyson's going to try to change this Friday night. Uh, but right now, we're going to settle back and catch some middle school football. We're going to take a break, and we're going to come back in just a second. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakroft. Get the best deal from Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs, so don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. 
experts, professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! 
Lynch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. The certified service experts at Walker Jones Chevrolet Buick Cadillac GMC know precisely which parts your Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV needs. Rely on them to maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. Our GM certified service experts are trained to know every inch of your vehicle. Simply schedule an appointment today on the web at walkerjoneschevy.com slash service or come see us on Memorial Drive in Oakcroft. Get the best deal from all right good evening everyone welcome to creek box tv i'm alan henley got my buddy and the rec director mr ac cooper with us he's gonna help me a little bit do the middle school ac's familiar with all these kids because last year they were playing rec park with the ac that's correct yep oh uh, man i tell you what we were looking there's 38 kids a good looking bunch of good looking group uh varsity you know a couple years from now they're gonna be some big boys Coming on up here, the Clinch County Middle School is coached by Drake uh, Browning, uh, James Edwards, Tyrone Carter, and Fluffy. <laughs> What's Fluffy's <laughs> old? Uh, Russell Robinson. Russell Robinson. I couldn't remember. I remember in high school. That just, you look at him now, you know, he was a running back. I remember and a that. a defensive end. Hey, good ball he, player, too. He's just a little bit thicker now than he was. And, man, a great <laughs> athlete. He broke his ankle his senior year. Uh, and we won state. Well, we tied state that year. And uh, he got to play in the championship game, the only game he got to play. Uh, but he was a hoss. Uh, but we're getting ready. Lanier County's down there warming up. They're going to be in black uniforms with black helmet. Panthers, don't don't be mistaken. That's not Ohio State out there. That's the Panthers. Uh, they're going to have uh, the dark gray pants, uh, red helmets, and some white helmets. Uh, there's so many of them. Uh, the Rick Park and the middle school have to work together. Now, I see you got midgets this year also, right? That's right. at the Rick Park now. You'll have some midgets that play middle school and midgets. Yeah, it, it'll be a good many of them that um that plays both um, uh, it's probably probably ten or twelve if if not more. Mm -hmm. So y'all try to wait and get through with middle school. I think they play five games. I was talking uh, to Drake before the game, and uh, he said they one, two, three more. Do what? All right, get out and work on it, Chase. He's the AD for the middle school. Chase Daniel trying to get the scoreboard working. All right. Man. Well, the scoreboard won't work. We'll keep time just like we used to at the rec park. <laughs> when you get the lead, you quit. <laughs> that's what they want to do in the day, you see. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Man, how's things going at the rec park? What we got coming up? You still under football sign-ups? Um, yeah, we're um, we, we still up under football sign-ups right now. Um, we got some stuff going on in the afternoons with um, doing like a summer conditioning program for um, the ones that's not playing middle school and the ones that's waiting for a rec football to start. So Yeah, I rode by yesterday. You had a bunch of them out there working hard, it looked like. Yeah, we, we got all, – all, um, I think we got all three ages, 8U, 10U, and 12U, and – the coaches, I got good coaches, man, and they really dedicated and and all, and they try to get the kids together a little bit earlier than what we started and kind of condition them and kind of just go over a lot of the basic stuff and all. And um, I think it's going to pay good dividends for us in, for this year right here, I believe. Well, uh, when will sign-ups in? Um, sign-ups in September, 20, uh, September 1st. And so they we, got another week. Yeah, we got another week, and then we'll start handing out pads and all that. And, and where, it, where can they turn in sign-ups at? Sign-ups can go to the, the uh, city hall. City hall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ten four. I know that's an exciting time. Cheerleaders sign up, too. You yeah. got the cheerleaders yeah. coming on. Got to get everybody in before the homecoming parade. Yeah. And I think homecoming is going to be a little bit sooner this year than it was last year, if I ain't mistaken. I don't even know. I hadn't looked at the yeah. schedule. 
Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's in October. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping it's a lot cooler, cooler than what yeah. it is now. Yeah. I can't imagine riding one of them floats like you had to. And <laughs> me and Daniel was in the parade last year on a golf cart, and uh, it was hot last year, uh, but had a good time. Uh, we're getting ready. I think they're trying to work. The scoreboard won't work. So uh, we got Bird Dog, Dennis Morgan. He's going to be out here referee, and he's got his clock. So they'll have to do it that way. Be a little bit confusing. We can keep up with the score, but that's about all we can keep up with. Uh, Lakeland looks like they got some good-looking athletes. AC. Yeah, yeah. I, um, they. Uh, I think a couple of those kids. I, I remember seeing playing twelve. You and we played them a couple of times, and they beat us. Boy, that number ninety-three is a grown one. I don't yeah. have him. Yeah, that's Trey Hires mm -hmm. for Lakeland, number ninety-three. Good looking, but ain't none of them big as a. Uh, which one is it? Kagan King over here in number 78 for the yeah. Panthers. He's going to be a grown one. Pretty good ball player, too. Yeah, yeah. Kagan King and um, Simon. I mean, we, we got some big boys. I, I like this little group right here. I've watched them over the last three or four years and watched them develop. And, I mean, they 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 are really, really, really they're going to be an interesting bunch to watch, I can tell you that. Now, will they kick off here, AC? They should. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got you. Y'all trying to do it with this with the window open but we like to have to close it all right i see what about friday panthers ready to play friday i tell you what we better be i mean that's a fine looking bunch and you Man, know, you they know are. We, we we never we only beat them once out of seven tries so never up there and, ne and never at their place that's right now didn't so. you play them up there one we, year we didn't no. you we, never we, we never played them you never played them we i we didn't either. now we played them in 81 i think they won state that year back state, when yeah. that was montezuma yeah montezuma that's right you mm -hmm. know the they went up there and played and beat Homerville 13 to nothing the first yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Boy, they had a great team then. Yep. And they've had some good ones over the years now. Uh, but they're going to spread the field and try to stretch it. No. They got athletes. They do. They do. We're going we're gonna to have to play a good game. I mean, man, and I hate uh, got some bad news. Bennett, freshman, he's out. It hurt his leg. Uh, mm -hmm. He'll be out the remainder of the season. Maybe he'll get back for baseball because he's a great baseball player, too. Yeah, he is. Um, and, I don't know, know how long does it take for something like that, AC? Well, I'm thinking it's probably going to be the summer before he can actually um, do anything. I Will mean, it? Yeah. Well, you don't want to rush enough. nothing like yeah. that. And we also lost um, um, our little running back. Mighty, Mighty Mouse. Mouse, yeah. But, but now he's only gone for a week. For a couple he? of weeks, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Everybody else pretty much helped. Yeah, I come out here, uh, watched y'all practice a little bit. Y'all didn't have pads on. You said they'd roughed them up yesterday. So. Yeah, we had a pretty rough practice yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let them heal a little bit. Good crowd here this evening for a middle school game. Little George Raymond's down there running the concession. I see him from up here, Scott Lassies. <laughs> him and little George. <laughs> All right, we got the captains coming to the field now. For the Panthers, you got number one, William Tyson. <laughs> number 24, Trip Thompson. Number eight, Travion Miller. And number 70, Javario Williams. For the Panthers, I was trying to get the numbers for Lakeland, AC. And big boys for the Panthers blocking the view from the other side. They're going to get out there and see who's going to win the toss. I think this will be the first official game. The Panthers went last week. They uh, Drake was telling me they drove all the way to Jeff, Jeff Davis. Davis yeah. mm -hmm. Went and eaten, come home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad time this time of year. They got them thunderstorms come yeah. off. The lightning, the lightning detector went off, so they turned around and come all the way home. They didn't get to play. Number 54 is the captain. That's D. Shaw Sermons for Lanier County. Trying to get another one. He'll slide over a little bit. Number eight, Grayson Spikes. They'll separate them here in a minute. We'll Number 17, Devin Reeves. 
Lakeland won, and they're going to defer to the second half, so the Panthers will have the ball to start the game. They're going to shake hands like they ain't seen each other in a long time, and we finna play some football. Well, I see you still got the middle school girls softball. We're going to be out there with y'all Monday. Yeah, um, they're gonna play Lakeland. That'll be a good game. It's gonna be a big game. Yeah, um, they beat us four to one the first time we played, and we kind of hung right in there with them for a good bit, and they kind of separated right at the end. But um, I think with the home crowd and all, I think I think we're gonna give them a good. I think we'll give a good run at it this next time. Good. I think the Panthers are sitting pretty good to make the playoffs in middle they are. school. Mm -hmm, they are. I know the varsity man. They started with Lakeland yesterday. It was four to nothing. First four batters, and the Panthers played some defense. It ended up being eight to one, but it was five to one going into seventh <clears throat> inning. I just got a um, homecoming is going to be on September the eighteenth. Oh, think. not October. Mm -hmm. Sept that's three weeks. That's three weeks from yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss Felicia Jefford says, let's eat Panthers and Marvin Page. Boy, that was a good Panther. Now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> go Panther. Marvin was bad to yeah, the ball. Yeah, he was, he was, yep. Yeah, I had to block him at practice. <laughs> you didn't get to take a break blocking him. I tell you what, he is a true, loyal, Clint's kind of fan. All right, good people. <laughs> yeah, good he is. people. Mm -hmm. Marvin, good people. All right, here we go. The Panthers, they got three, five, eight, <coughs> eleven on the field. So does Lanier. We're getting ready. Number eight looks like he's going to kick off. That's Grayson Spikes. Nope, excuse me. They're going to fake me out. They're going to kick it. Who fell on it right there, AC? What number is it? Number 24, Trip Thompson. Trip Thompson, number 24. So here come the Panthers now. And they're going to run the same thing as the varsity does. They're going to run the single wing. Just not as many plays, I don't think. That's correct. I guarantee you get a good dose of number four today. I, the, the I guarantee and you. And that. that is Lamarcus Bryant. He's gonna be a baller, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He really is. He's gonna be good in everything. Does he play baseball? He played baseball. He well, played, and he he, he kind of backed off a little bit, but he can play. All right, here come the Panthers. They break the huddle wing to the right. Lakeland's gonna jump off sides. Who's that at quarterback? They see, is that number eight? That's Travion Miller. Travion Miller. Mm -hmm. In the backfield, we got Travion Miller, LaMarcus, Bryant, William Tyson, and Caden Denmark. Pretty quick backfield. Mm -hmm. I think all of them pretty quick. All right. First play went for five yards. It was an offside penalty. Here comes first and five now for the Panthers. They flop it wing to the left now. Miller, and we got another offsides. So the Panthers hadn't snapped the ball. Boy, that's good. You know, and I want to brag on the varsity Friday night. Man, we went on two, three times yeah. Friday. Yeah, they – Best game I've ever seen offensive line play mm -hmm. in a long they, time. They, they play really well. I was talking Block, about – No penalties, No penalties, actually. that's true, yeah. You know, we come from Pierce where they had several bad penalties. Mm -hmm. Man, y'all cleaned it up, and uh, the line looked good. All right, let's see if we can get a play now. Miller waiting on the ball. Wing to the left. Snap. Miller's going to run right up the middle. He's going to pick up maybe three yards. So that's going to be second and seven for the Panthers. Now this age group is uh, the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Yes, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Mm-hmm. All right, Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right now. Everybody to the right. Miller at quarterback, Bryant to the left of him. They're going to snap it to Bryant. He's going to run over here to the right. He cuts back. Coming back to the other side, he's going to pick up eight, nine yards and a first down. Here come the Panthers. We got to get y'all to put the numbers on the field, AC. <laughs> All the way to 27-yard line. Panthers knocking on the door at Lanier 27-yard line. Is that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Big number 54 breaks the huddle. He's the center. That's Simon Guy. 58 up there blocking Matthew Bell. 
As the snap to Brian again, he's going left, inside, outside. He's going to walk in the end zone. They ain't going to catch him, I don't think. Did he get it? No, they're going to spot him at the two. I thought he was going, AC. Good moves by good Bryant. Move. Mm -hmm. Man, he come in and weaved out. They had a good angle on him, but it's going to be first and goal for the Panthers now. I don't know how long does the quarters last, middle school. Eight minutes? Ten minutes? I want to say I want to say it's seven or eight, if I'm mistaken. First and goal at the three. Here come the Panthers. They break the huddle. They're going to have a wing to the right. Bryant Miller in the backfield. There's the snap. Miller's got it running to the right, and he'll walk in. That's going to make it six to nothing. Panthers on top. Good, good black and white offensive line. I'm telling you. Twenty-four in there playing hard. Who is that? AC. That is uh, Trip Thompson. Trip Thompson. Mm -hmm. Trying to get all them big linemen numbers. You got seventy. Javario Williams. There's the snap back to Miller. Same play. He's going to walk in. It'll be eight to nothing. Panthers take a lead. Eight to nothing. Good start for the Panthers, I can tell you that. You are right. Here in the first. Panthers leading eight to nothing. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. All right, everybody, we're back. Panthers leading eight to nothing over Lanier. Number 21 is going to kick for the Panthers. That's Grayson Daniel. He's going to a little onside kick over here. It's going to bounce. Panthers might. Oh, if they'd have hustled down, could have got that one. Bulldogs will have it now. Let's see what their offense can do. Whose birthday did they say it was, AC? Birthday? Yeah. Livy Kate. Livy Kate, Kate yeah. Yeah, happy birthday to her. Let me shout out. Nessie Collins says, let's go, Panthers, from Lakeland, Georgia. All right. We got some people in L.A. watching. All right. Here come the Bulldogs. And in black uniforms, they'll break the huddle. They're going to run a basic little spread, it looks like, A.C. That's what they run on Friday night. Yeah, that's what the high school run, too. Mm -hmm. Going to be in the gun. Snap to number 22. He's going to run to the right. Good hard lick up there, but he'll pick up three yards. That's 22 uh, running the ball. That's Bryce Murphy. I don't know who made the hit on that side. They said that was a good lick. Or they come up and stuck him. That was number two, I think. Number two, that's Jerome Anderson. All right, no huddle for the Bulldogs. They're right back on the ball. Bad snap over his head. He's going to scoop it up. Trying to get something. Nowhere to go. Number seven will wrap him up. Jordan Woods. He's going to lose several yards. All that started with a bad snap. That's going to make it third and about 18. For the Bulldogs. We got a timeout. Let's see what the referee's doing. Is that the first quarter? All right, Panthers want a timeout. We'll take a break too. We'll be back in just a second. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. 
Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2350. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper up here helping me this evening. Kind enough to stop by. Lanier needing a big play here. Third and 18 for the Bulldogs. New quarterback in the game. They're going to snap it. That's number four, Carter Allen. Rolling around. Throws it. That's a interception by William Tyson. Great job there, AC. Yeah, that was a good pick. That was a good play. Going to put the Panthers in excellent field position. They're going to be at the 30, about the 40-yard line. He read that pretty 40. soon. He did. <laughs> so the Panthers take over again, leading eight to nothing here in the first. We don't know how much time's left. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. They're going to snap it to Brian. He's coming this way to the right, trying to get outside. They see there he goes, one man to beat. He's going to beat him this time. 14 to nothing. Panthers on top. Whoa, we got a flag. Got a flag. got a flag on the play, yeah. Uh, that was a 40-yard touchdown run. Block in the back, I think. Block in the back. That'll be a 10-yard penalty. Mm, so that'll be a – they'll back them up 10 yards and – We don't know who it's on, so they'll do it again. Just a mistake. This is technically the first game the Panthers have played this year. So they'll back them up. And it's going to be first down because they spot. They throw it on the spot, so it's going to be first and 15 for the Panthers now. All right, wing to the right. There's a the snap this time. Not to Miller, it's to Brian again. He's going to drag one, missing, dodging. He's going to pick up probably 10 yards, they see. Yeah, I think he picked up 10 on that carry. Good running in there by Bryant. All right, Bulldogs, they got to both their backs here. Patricia Grady says, go Panthers, 64 from Darius and Patricia Grady in North Carolina. <laughs> Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, some good friends of mine, though. Good people, they don't miss. They watch every every time <laughs> Creek Box comes on. Panthers break the huddle wing to the left this time. Snap, it's going to go to number five. I don't know who that's, Caden Denmark. He's quick. We got another flag down. 22 come in, made a good play for Lanier. That's Bryce Murphy. He's limping a little bit. Well, what the penalty is here. Another penalty on the Panthers. That's going to back them up five, ten more yards. It must have been a block in the back in the or a hole or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be second and 15 now. Yeah. 
Panthers break the huddle. Big 54 in there. That's Simon Guy. Comes to the line. Panthers have a wing to the right. Miller at quarterback. Bryant. They're going to snap it to Bryant. He bobbles it. He'll pick it up. He cuts to the right. Look out. He can go. I don't think there's one man. They got him inside the 10, about the six-yard line. All the way. That's a big first down. I don't see a flag now, AC. First and goal for the Panthers. They're leading eight to nothing here in the first, I think. Clock is not working. Panthers in the huddle. They break the line. Got wing to the right. This time, who's that? Number 10 in the backfield, AC? In the material. Kareem Reeves. Miller's going to run it that way. He's going to get in. Touchdown. That'll make it 14 to nothing now. Good blocking on that right side by the Panther line. Now they'll go for two. Lanier's going to have to get something going on the offense. All right, here they go. Wing to the right. They're going to snap it this time to Denmark. He's going to walk in, and that'll make it 16 to nothing now. Panthers are up. We'll take a little break, and we'll be back in just a second. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper up here helping me. Grayson Daniel getting ready to kick off again. Panthers leading 16 to nothing over the Bulldogs. Panthers in red jerseys. Bulldogs in all black. Grayson did an onside kick the first time. He's going to do it the same way. Oh, and there it is. Tyson Bell. Or Tyson. Or we call Tyson Bell. I'm sorry. <laughs> William Tyson is going to fall on the ball. Good job by Grayson. He kicked it hard. Panthers will take over again. Man. That was a pretty good squeal kick. That there. was. Little fella come up and tried to get it. Went right through both his hands. We had a Tyson Bell several years ago. We did. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason's son. All right. Panthers leading 16 to zip. Have the ball again on the 30-yard line of Lanier. They break the huddle, wing to the right. Miller and Bryant in the backfield. They're going to snap it. They're going to give it back to William to the left. Little counter. He's going to try to make one. Miss him. Good job over there. Bring him down. That's number 22 for Lanier, Bryce Murphy. Good job by him staying home. This Panthers going to lose a couple yards. Number 13 coming in for the Panthers. That's Alvin Barr. 
Uh, we had an Alvin boy back in our day. What's yes, that, his grandson, AC? That's his son. That's his son? Yeah, uh-huh. Little AJ. <laughs> All right, that, I think that's going to be – that might be the first quarter. So, we're going to take a break. Panthers leading 16 to nothing. We'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia, is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 -4 all right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We're live here. Panthers leading 16 to nothing. And have the ball. We got swamp acid, said roll, red, roll. We're going to tumble one of the big linemen over this way, number 54. That's Simon Guy. They're going to snap it. Another counter back to Tyson. He's going to try to run around the end. He's got some room. He's at the 15, wrapped up about the 12, 13-yard line. Good run by Tyson. It's going to be first and 10 now at the 13-yard line. Panthers fixing the score again, up 16 to nothing. A big line will break the huddle. They go to it. Big 64. Jacorin Marshall up there blocking on that right side for the Panthers. Panthers have wing to the right. Miller, that's going to be snapped to Denmark. Denmark trying to come around the left. They had him hemmed up. He's trying. He cuts back. Good job by Denmark. He'll pick up three or four yards. He had nowhere to go, really, AC. Yeah, he, he made something out of nothing there. That's right. They're not going to be a good player, man. Who would you say the fastest kid out there, AC? Probably it's between Denmark, um, Tyson, and Bryant. Bryant. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got a bunch of good team speed out there. Here come the Panthers. They're going to break the huddle. Wing to the left. Number 70 on that right side, anchoring the line. That's Javario Williams. Denmark and Miller in the backfield. Snap to Denmark again, coming to the left at the five. Touchdown, Panthers. 22 to nothing now over the Lanier Bulldogs. They're making it look easy, AC. 22 to zip. Panthers will try for another two-point conversion. Yeah, he almost went in untouched then. He huh? did. Good blocking by that big line. You got number 70, Javon Williams. Number 54, Simon Guy. Number 50, Brandon Williams. 58. Matthew Bell, 64 is Marshall, and 78 is King. All of them blocking good up there for the Panthers. Yeah, that's a big bunch, too, Adam. Yeah, that's very big. I'd hate that to feed them. <laughs> no, they'll go through a box of cereal. <laughs> well, we got a delay a game, I guess, where they're pointing. 
That's going to back the Panthers up five yards. Illegal procedure. Motion on the Panthers. So they'll try it from the eight-yard line now. 22 to nothing. Panthers on top. They'll tumble the wing to the right this time. Now we're going to have an offside, I think, on Lanier. Yep, so they'll turn around and spot it back at the three. They'll put it back on the three. Panthers will try again. Wing to the right. Denmark and Miller in the backfield. Denmark with it. He's going to the right. Big 64 out there looking for somebody. Nobody would get in front of him, AC. They wasn't going to get in front of Marshall out there. Denmark will walk in. That will make it 24 to zip here in the second quarter. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see. All right, we apologize. There was another flag, another five-yard penalty, illegal procedure, so it's still just 22 to nothing. This will be the fourth try for the two-point conversion. Panthers put the wing on the left side this time. Denmark and Miller in the backfield. Probably just going to run around this left end, ain't they, AC? Probably so. They're blocking right. it well. They, they ain't been able to stop it. So. And there it comes. Denmark coming from the eight-yard line. He's going to stretch out. We got another no penalty. Holding against the Panthers. Man, he did a great job to stretch out and get it across. Surely they'll decline that. Can't they decline the penalty? And just make it a 22? Mm. I guess not. They're going to replay it. I don't understand that. If, I mean, Lakeland, I you, you're giving them another chance. If I was Lakeland, I'd decline the penalty and let's kick off and give me the ball. But they're going to back them up 10 yards, so now they're going to try a two-point conversion from the 18-yard line. This will be play number five. Yeah, we, I'm pretty, pretty sure we'll probably, probably be a pass play right here, I, I imagine. I you have nothing to lose. All right, they break the huddle. Wing to the right. Timeout, Lakeland on a two-point conversion. So we'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, I was trying to eat a lemon head, man. We need to get this. I don't know why you'd call a timeout on a two-point conversion. I'd have declined the penalty four penalties ago, wouldn't you, AC? 
Yeah, evidently they they couldn't. I don't I don't get that. I mean, I thought I thought you could. Panthers wing to the right. Snaps going to Brian. He's gonna start that way. Looking, Lanier's got him hemmed up this time, and that'll fail. That'll make it twenty-two to nothing. So now, let me scratch that out. It's twenty-two to zip here in the second quarter. Now we'll take a break. We'll be back in thirty seconds. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Alright everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy A.C. Cooper in here, Daniel. Fixing the kick again. He did a good one a while ago. So he's going to try it again. Panthers leading 22 to zip here in the second quarter over the Bulldogs from Lanier. Now, this time he's going to put a boot in it. Good kick. Lanier has it. Running good. Coverage number 24 down there for the Panthers. They see that's Trip Thompson. Trip Thompson, yes, sir. Uh... Number 11, Jalen Prescott down there hustling. Ain't no good after you get the coat off of them. <laughs> All right, the Bulldogs, man, they hadn't run but about three plays on offense. Yeah, they it's see. about three. It ain't been a minute. That's so. Uh... Bulldogs will take over on their own 37 yard line. All right, Panthers defense, like I say, been on the field about three plays. That's it. You play defense, you're mad, you fresh. Here come the Bulldogs now. Number four is at quarterback. That's Carter Allen. They're going to be in a spread. Two receivers up top, one down here at the bottom. We got another timeout. The Lanier Bulldogs want a timeout. I'll stay right here, man. I'm going to give a shout-out to our sponsors. They're the ones that make it possible for us to bring you these games. And we have, let me flip over here. We got Homerville, Fargo, Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Lutz Brown Insurance, Douglas Metal, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Homerville Jewelers, Hueys, Dre's Snack Shack, Napa, Burt, CPA, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Camping World, Avalosta, Pizza Inn and Waycross, Clayton Homes and Waycross, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate them being sponsors. If anybody would love to become a sponsor, if you'll get a hold of me and Daniel, Beth, Lexi, Connor, Brent, just anybody, let us know. We'd love to add, add you to the Creek Box family. Cousin who? Breed. Breed is watching from Valosta. Who is that, A.C.? Ben Sims. Ben Sims. All right. <laughs> Beth Walton says, go Panthers. We got about 300 people viewing in on this game. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's see if the Bulldogs, they need some points. Offense come back. They're getting set. Here we go now. Allen at quarterback for the Bulldogs. They are in a spread from one side to the other. Going to bring 22 in motion. I don't know what the two men. No, another timeout. Well, that's it. They don't have no more. 
We'll take a short break, and we'll be back in just a second. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody, Lanier's out of timeout, so it's either going to be a play or a penalty here. They get set up now, spread. Allen will bring one in motion. They're going to hand it jet sweep, number 22, around the left end. He'll get a good block getting outside. He's going to pick up 12 yards. That's 22. That is uh, Bryce Murphy. Pretty good ball player for them. He plays hard. So there's Lanier's first first down of the game. He lost containment on that on that far side over there. He did. All right, here come the Bulldogs. They break the huddle. Good looking line they got him come up to the ball. Allen at quarterback. He'll have a running back over to the right of him. Take a snap. They're going to give it to 17. Good blocking on that left side. AC, he's going to pick up about 10, 11 yards. That is Devin Reeves for the Bulldogs. Devin Reeves. Yes, sir. Good looking running back for the Bulldogs. First and 10. Lanier would love to get a score here up for half. It's 22 to nothing. Panthers on top. I'm wondering if that, is that Dexter Reeves, son. He, he got a kid. Dexter had, there. that's right. Yeah, I, don't, I, know, I know the younger one. I don't know if that's his or not, but good little ball player, though. Yes, sir. He sure is. Allen with the snap. They're going to give it back to Reeves. He's going to spin. Good spin move. They had him at the line. He'll pick up three yards. Dexter was a great. Ball player for the Panthers. He was, yep. Good linebacker, good running back. They said he picked up four, so it'll be second and six now. Bulldogs break the huddle. He's out there moving. That's going to be a penalty. No flag. They're going to just snap it to 22. Murphy, he got out to the left side. Finds a little hole. He's going to run down all the way to the 10-yard line. I don't think the referee's seen that today. He it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lanier needed a break, and they got one there. Let's see where he went out at the 12-yard line. So it's first and 10 at the 12. Here come the Bulldogs now. They'd like to score here to make it a game, AC. I keep looking at the scoreboard, forgetting this. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we don't know how much time left. There can't be much left here in the first half. I want to say I've seen one of the umpires, the referees, Put up four minutes to the other referee earlier. All right. The play before that. All right, here they come now. Allen at quarterback. Bulldogs on the 12-yard line of the Panthers. Knocking on the door. There's a snap. They're going to give it over to number nine. Good defense there by the Panthers. That was Evan Yearly or Yearby. Number 24 made the tackle. He gets up holding his hand. They see that's Thompson. Thompson, yeah. So he'll lose a couple yards. Bulldogs break the huddle. They have no timeouts. Reeves will go to the left of Allen at quarterback for the Bulldogs. Now he'll come back to the right side. 
Looking, got to get the snap. Snap the ball. There it is. They're going to try to give it to Reeves. They do. Somehow got it off to him. He runs into one of his own men. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage, AC. I think he lost about a yard and a half. You're right. I believe you're right. So it's going to be third and about 14 for the Bulldogs. Oh, come on, y'all can do a little bit better than that. Y'all make some noise. All right, Lanier breaks the huddle. You got Reeves on the right side of Allen in the backfield now. This is, they'll have it. This is going to be four down territory down there. There's a snap. Nowhere to go. Reeves takes it. Come back to the right. Look out. He's going to find a little seam. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Flag they, on the play, Is there a flag? I think yeah. there was movement. No, I think it was black in the back. Right? The was it a block in the back? Mm -hmm. Black in the back. Yep, you're right. Man, Lanier had a touchdown. That'll be called back for a block in the back. They, the quarterback and Reeves run into each other. He had nowhere to go, and he found a little opening, and he struck out that way. So that'll back him up 10 yards. Still be third down. They got to get all the way to three-yard line for a first. Lanier will break the huddle. They have no timeout here, so they got to run with it. They're going to put Murphy in a wildcat formation. Maybe try to get him to get some yards back. He's looking, scrambling. He's got an opening over there. We got a flag on that side. Did they have enough men on the line of scrimmage, AC? <laughs> Good pickup there by Murphy. Let's see what the play is. I wonder if it's probably an illegal formation. Was he? Let's see. No flag. No flag. All right. So they picked up a good chunk of the yardage back there. It's going to be fourth and... Now, fourth and by 12 or 13. Yeah. Yep. They come out the same formation spread. They're going to snap it to Murphy. He's looking, looking, left-handed. He scrambles to the left. He's going to try to run it. Oh, he got by Miller. He's running, trying to stretch out. Panthers will throw him out of bounds. What number was that? Is that Bryant? That was Bryant, yeah, Bryant. Bryant threw him like a bag of dog food out of bounds. <laughs> Panthers will take over inside their own 10. Good job by the Panther defense. 22 to nothing. I think that's halftime, Ellen. Is that it? Yes. That is. That's halftime. We're going to take a 10, 15-minute break, and we'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, welcome back. We're over halftime. Panthers leading 22 to nothing. Got a couple of texts here we need to read out. Let's see right here. Keith from L.A. says Bryce Murphy is the little brother of former Lanier quarterback Rashad Brockington. Rashad was the young man that used to hit all them home runs for that good 12U baseball team I had. Yeah, I do remember him. Great baseball player. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, Bryce is going to be another good football player. Let's see, I got something from Aunt Brenda. She says, on September the 22nd and September the 23rd, which is homecoming weekend, the class of 1973 will be celebrating their 50-year class reunion. If you were ever a member of their class, a teacher, principal, or even a board member, you are all invited. For more information, contact Charles Handley or Kathy Handley, Gail Infinger, or Debbie Bennett. And uh, we're going to do that every game. Remind me to do that tomorrow night, Daniel. Uh, so we want to remind everybody, the class of 73, 50 years. Man, they see how long you've been out. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> hey. There's a good kick by Grayson. That'll back the Bulldogs up. Murphy has it, trying to get away. Panthers hustled down and got him down. There we go. All right, now I got you on, AC. Yeah. You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you good. When did you graduate? 90? 88? 88. 88. 88. Mm-hmm. 98, 08, 18. Man, you met, man, that gum over 30 years, cuz. I, I was hoping you didn't say that, Alan. <laughs> What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm plus three. <laughs> Whatever you are, I'm plus three, cuz. <laughs> man, it don't seem like that I long, know does it? it? Man. Oh it God. feels that way when you first get up, <laughs> <laughs> but it don't seem like that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Murphy in the backfield. They're going to take a snap. He's coming to the right. He's going to be run Ooh. down from behind. They see, there's your man. I told you, Trip Thompson, man. Trip Thompson, you. number 24, run him down from behind. Hey, this, this, this kid, I watched him last couple of years, man. He just started playing football. And, man, I, I seen some good stuff out of somebody that never really played. And he's still learning the game. He's caught on quick. Yep. Also mm -hmm. on the tackle, big number 54, Simon Guy. Simon, Simon's going to be a good one, too. Yes, sir. Panthers got that big nose guard, too. Big 76. Murphy going to take it. Good hard run, and he'll pick up five yards. 76 for the Panther. It's Brandon guy. Now, are they brothers, Simon and Brandon? No, uh, uh, no, uh. I'd hate to have to feed them two at the house. Now. Simon is a uh, um, um, rib. Rib. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Third and about four for the Bulldogs. They need a first down. Man, they got down inside to the, the 10 right before the half, and Panthers done a great job to hold them out of the end zone. Allen back at quarterback for the Bulldogs. They're going to come out in the spread now. They got Reeves to the right Allen. Panthers look like they're going to blitz. They're going to hand it to Reeves. He's nowhere to go. There he is again. Had him wrapped up. I'm telling you, Ellen, that kid is going to be special. Yes, sir. And he's steady growing. He's steady growing. He played basketball, too. He, Does he? Yeah, he played a little travel basketball with, with um, um, Coach James and Duran and all them this summer. Man, I got to brag on Coach James does a great job out there at the mm -hmm. rec park. Yeah. Middle school Middle coach school, yeah. now. He's mm -hmm. doing football and basketball. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you got Coach Tad Pohl. He still referees out at a rec park for you, doesn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. And Drake does a great job. Played here at Homerville. All of them played at Homerville. Drake was a little nervous before the game. <laughs> so they, you know, you got Lakeland, Homerville, the big rival. You want to win. So I'm sure he's still a little nervous till we get that last second off the clock. Panther leading 22 to nothing. It's fourth down. Lanier's going to punt. Man, he's not deep, is he, AC? Boy. 
High snap. Big man coming through. Almost got it. Big 54 did. Marcus, get out of the way. <laughs> that ball's going to hit. Man, big 54 Simon liked the he guy. He come close. He did. <laughs> if he would have just breathed hard, it would have bounced off that head. Panthers take over first down. Um, what are they on, Lanier's side of the ball? Or is that the 50 right there, AC, we're looking at? I can't. But then we get on Don. Y'all got to write the numbers down, man. Yes, uh, that's 45, I think. Uh, we had several people uh, text in the other night. They want the Panther Paul or the C or something put up on the 50. On the, in the center of the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, here come the Panthers now. And that single wing, wing to the right. Miller and Bryant in the backfield. We're going to have movement somewhere. There's the flag. He finally come out. <laughs> Is it against Lanier? They must have jumped offside, so that'll be a free five yards for the Panthers. There's my buddy Mike coming back. He's going to be in trouble. He ain't got nothing to drink or eat for Debbie. <laughs> First and five now. Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the right. Miller at quarterback. Bryant. They're going to snap it to Bryant. The other back. Good job. They had him at the line. Well, Bryant's just hard to bring down, AC. Yeah. yeah he, he, run, he run real tough. Grayson Spikes. No, number nine, Evan Yearby in the backfield. Had him. Bryant slipped by for a first down. Seventy-four coming in now for the Panthers. I was trying to look. I don't have a seventy-four. I have to get that young young man's name. I appreciate P. John got me the roster sheet. Drake sent it to him. All right, Panthers wing to the left. Run a little counter back to William. They're going to get him behind the line. Good job by the Bulldog defense there. That is number nine again. He's a ball player, that even Yearby. Evan Yearby, excuse me. That's going to be second down, about 13. Bulldogs playing a little bit better defense here in the third quarter, AC. Yeah. Panthers have it. Wing to the left. Miller and Bryant in the backfield. Snap to Bryant. He's going to come to the right, to the left. He'll make one miss. Good blocking down the field. One man to get him and got him by the shoestring. But he got the first down. He comes down hard. Maybe just knocked the breath out of him. Yeah, he'll bounce up. He'll probably come out and take him a break. Good hard running by Bryant. Man, he's over 100 yards today, AC. Yeah, that was good blocking out there. On the man, there was. Too, you know? Good that that's that's what happened for us Friday night. We, I mean, the offensive line brought um, they blocked really well, and our perimeter guys blocked exceptionally well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, we was able to get the corners and get the um, outside. Number fifty-five was blocking too on that offensive line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here they go. Wing to the right. They're going to give it to number two over there, and he's going to go right off tackle. That's Jerome Anderson for the Panthers. Big 65 on the tackle. Landon Barrett for the Bulldogs. Good play by Barrett over there for the Bulldogs. Second and eight for the Panthers now. And Lanier had them backed up. It was third and about 14. Big 64. Marshall coming on the field.
We're here in the third quarter. Panthers lead 22 to nothing. Wing to the left. Miller with the ball right up the middle. He's going to get three yards. Good defense in there by the Bulldogs. Number 55 in there with the tackle. That's Aiden Newburn. Third down and five now for the Panthers. Bulldogs trying to make a stop here. Clinch breaks to huddle, wing to the left. Miller and Bryant, no, excuse me, Miller and Anderson in the backfield. Miller with the ball up the middle again. He's trying to get the first down. He's going to be couple close, AC. A yeah. couple of yards short, but about, about, uh, probably about a half a yard. No, actually first down. Did he get it? He did get it. Mm -hmm. First and goal for the Panthers now. Good blocking by that big line up front. Simon Guy. Matthew Bell. Marshall. Williams. Brandon Guy and Kagan King. All of them blocking. Here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. Miller again to the right side. He's going to walk in. That's going to make it 28 to nothing. Oh, I forgot to say, Bo Gator said, tell my buddy AC. <laughs> Give him a shout out. I meant Bo Gator's usually here. He don't come on third Wednesdays, though, does he? <laughs> He'll be there Friday. <laughs> I used to clean up, pick up out at the rec park. You could tell when Bo Gator had been out there, they'd be a chew, look like a bird's nest. <laughs> There's a snap. Miller off tackle. He's going to walk in. Got it. That'll make it. What is it, AC? 30 to nothing now. Panthers lead. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Hang on. Is that a penalty? All right, we'll be back in just a second. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. All right, here we go. We got some people texting in. We got, all right, there's the kick by Daniel again. Oh, the Panthers almost got another one. We got Beth Walton says, go Panthers. Barbara Arliver says, let's roll, red roll. Jamie Hendricks says, dang, throw the ball. <laughs> Sal <laughs> Belly. <laughs> Buddy, Jamie, he's in the AC somewhere. He's got the air conditioner on high wherever he's at. <laughs> Give a shout out. I think everybody's watching up there at Big Daddy's after the game. Y'all shoot by. Get you something to eat or call Dre's. I got something. I got that club sandwich the other night from Dre's. Boy, it was good. Oh, yeah. That's the best thing he's got up there. <laughs> Them and the Cajun Ranch wings. Yeah. I had some Cajun Ranch yesterday, I think. Yes, yeah. sir. Mm. All right, here come the Bulldogs. They're in a spread. Murphy at quarterback. He's going to take a snap. We got illegal procedure, I think. Yep. Against the Bulldogs. That'll back them up five. 
28 nothing. Panthers on top here in the third. I haven't seen it. Are we in the fourth yet, AC? No, we still in the third. Um, shouldn't be much time left in the third, though. Mm. Good crowd for middle school. Man, I tell you what, Friday night, that was the biggest crowd we've had in a while. It's been, it's been Good a while, crowd yeah. here for the Panthers. I think everybody's so excited about the season being back in and all. That's right. Finally getting over that COVID. Get everything back to normal. All right. Murphy with the ball. He's looking. He's going to throw it. He scrambles to the left. Stiff arm. He'll get one out of the way. Look out. Good run over there by Murphy. Out of bounds. Flag on the play. What is he calling? Holding uh, holding one of, one of the guys here. I oh, one, did he? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Man, that was a great play by Murphy with the stiff arm. Mm -hmm. So that will back the Bulldogs up. Yes, we are. Daniel's going to hook that up tonight. I've had a million calls about the game from Friday night. We get Daniel to do something, we'll try to. <laughs> well, that's a 10 yard penalty, so it's going to, no, it's more than that. Actually, it was a spot foul. No, that's so it's about 25 yards, ain't it? First and 25. Murphy still at quarterback. It's going to be an empty set now for the Bulldogs. He's trying to bring him in motion, I think. Nope. They're bad snap. Good job by Murphy to get it. He's scrambling. No blocking. Trying to come to the right. He'll get back to the line. Good cut by Murphy. He'll pick up. It turned, should have been a 10 yard loss, and he'll pick up eight yards. All right, it's Jamie Daniels got it. That was a simple fix. Took him three days to do that. <laughs> Alan Clinton says, No need for Clinch to throw. <laughs> All right, we got a timeout with that. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, we're back. Welcome back. I'm sorry, I got a Reese cup I was trying to swallow. <laughs> Daniel's rushing me. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're in the fourth quarter now. Second and 15 for the Bulldogs. Allen at quarterback. High snap again. Allen will scoop it up. Number nine back there in the backfield for the Panthers. That's Jeremiah White. And 24 again, Thompson. And number three. Kareem Hall. Kareem Hall, yeah. He was the first on, on the on the tackle, Kareem Hall. Uh, Look like number nine. Man, they got to get to the red light up in Homerville for a first down. Third and forever. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's a play in the playbook for that, though. Mm. Hell, Mary. I'd bring Murphy in and let him do his thing. <laughs> Man, and all this started with bad snaps and a penalty. Lanier was moving the ball. 28 nothing here in the fourth quarter. Allen at quarterback now. High snap again over his head. Oh, and he could do nothing but fall on it. 
Who was that back there again? Number three Number again, three again. Hall. You know, and that starts with, uh, AC, when you got a good nose guard in front of you, it'll mm -hmm. make the center mess mm -hmm. up now. Yep. And I don't know if that's the problem or his hand slipping, but it's going to be fourth down and to the Dairy Queen. <laughs> So Lanier will be punting. This is a true four, fourth and long. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets the punt to the first chain, that'll be a – it won't never get there. Probably not. This is like the game that we was in playing against Charlton, and they gave us all them penalties about four or five years <laughs> yeah, ago. That's, that's the, right. That's the, that's the most penalty, um, penalty yards I've ever seen. There's a good snap there. That's how deep they got to get. A high punt, but it's not going to go far. It hits and bounces back. And it was about a six, seven-yard punt. So the Panthers will take over on their own 10, 20-yard line. I think they need to back the quarterback up a little bit deeper, AC, because that's a pretty snap to the punter. Mm -hmm. Don't give it up for that Panthers defense for all So it's 28 to nothing here in the fourth. Hey, see y'all doing, man, I tell you, everybody talks about every weekend you've been having baseball tournaments out there. Y'all got some more of them? Y'all about done with the tournaments? Actually, we probably got, we're probably going to do at least two more um, with the kids, and we're going to do a benefit. Uh, I got some people that wanted to do a benefit tournament for some somebody that was sick or, or fell in some bad times or whatever. After that, I think we'll be done because I, I really got to get everything ready to set up for football. Yeah, that's so, not easy. Yeah. You got to yeah. then move those get in that field, and, move yeah. the bleachers, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, man, then them tournaments they don't last just a couple hours, do they? What <laughs> no. time do they start? Well, normally that probably about nine. I'm out there probably about seven to about. 11, 10, 11, every, <laughs> every time we have one. So, um, Boy, them dogs is hurt. Yeah, when you man. Get, I'm t <laughs> you get home. I know you ain't been out there that long. Yeah, hey, when, I get, when I get home, I, I don't want to. I, I barely can make it in the door. But I'm I mean. telling you. You don't even want to talk to nobody when you get home. We'll sit in the recliner with that yeah. remote. Yeah. What CNN? <laughs> yeah, we, we only got a couple more. And I'm. I mean, it's, I'm glad that we get a chance because, I mean, we That's right. really get a chance to, I mean, everybody kind of benefit from having the tournament. Well, man, yeah. I was going to tell you, Big Daddy said Saturday yep. they had eight teams to come up there mm -hmm. and eat. Uh, said that's as busy as they've ever been on a Saturday I know, during the daytime. I went over there after everything was over, and um, some one of the waitresses was telling me that um, that they had a bunch of teams to come up there. So. And, man, that's what it's about. Collecting that splash tax, you know, we got uh, you got that money out there. When are they gonna start seeing some? Uh, well, we I think we kind of waiting on everything. I think you have to wait so a length of time before you actually can do anything with it. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just waiting on that. I'm ready. I'm ready to get to get the ball rolling. To be honest, because I like to have that full field done by next year, so we can, the tournaments can be even a little bit bigger. That's right. Well, you get you get extra field, you get home quicker then. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. <laughs> All right, Panthers put the ball on the dirt. Number 10 will fall on it. That's Kareem Reeves. So they might have lost a yard there on that one. 28 to nothing. I'm sure they got some of the younger ones in now here on middle school. I want to remind everybody, man, to please come out Friday if you can make it to Macon. We need a good crowd to go up to Montezuma. But if you can't make it to the game, you can catch us right here on Creek Box. Brandon Jordan said, go Panthers. The future looks bright. I agree with you, brother. Here come the Panthers. That's Denmark trying to get around the end. Couldn't quite make it. Good tackle in there by number 65. That is Landon Barrett. Well, that feels good blowing in right there. I have to cut that AC off again in a minute. Third and ten now for the Panthers.
Clinch breaks to huddle. They got a wing to the right. Denmark and Reeves in the backfield now for the Panthers. We'll go to Denmark. He's running to the right. He's at the line of scrimmage. He's going to cut back. He's going to pick up about five yards. It's going to be fourth. Let's see. Fourth and about five, I think. Panthers will go for it. Scores 28 to nothing. Panthers will go on the road next Wednesday and play Brooks. Hmm. They're usually pretty good every yeah, year, Brooks. Yeah. And then they go to Nashville, and they'll come home one more time. We might get them on here one more time. They'll play Atkinson County at home in three weeks. That might be homecoming week then. Yeah. And that'll wind them up. Of course, their playoffs will start. Wing to the left. Here goes Denmark running to the left. He's going to kick outside. He's got the first down, and he's got a touchdown. That's going to make it 34 to nothing now. Panthers on top. Tell you what, he can fly, can he? He can. He can. He, I tell you, man, I love watching him. He get a little baseball player too, isn't he? Well, he he played baseball, but he kind of back. To, he's a good soccer player. Is he? He loves soccer. Does oh, he? Yeah. Yes, sir. We're thinking about uh, picking up soccer too in the direct department. I'm 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 trying to I'm shooting for after this football well, season. Now, when will you when would you play soccer? Right, at, right after football right season. Right after mm -hmm. the dead, right before basketball. Right before basketball. I yeah. got you. I'm trying to. I'm hoping I can get it all together. If not, man, if, yeah. If we, if we don't, I'm a, I, I know definitely we'll do it next year. But I'm, I'm shooting for this year. There you so. go, man. Panthers trying, Bryant trying to get in for the two point conversion, and he does. So that's gonna make it 36 to nothing. Man, that would be excellent. That'd give them something to do through the holidays, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. AC. Well, they they did a like a little camp. Some of the churches did a little camp out there. And man, they had they had a mess of a turnout, like a, a lot, a lot of kids. Like, and uh, some of the parents kind of hit me up before they left. We think you ought to um, think about um, of doing soccer. And so I kind of been thinking about it. I called some of my buddies that do it and all, and they kind of gave me the rundowns on the things that you really need to do and all. So I'm really considering doing it. I mean, I'm. I guess the only downside is you can only play in house against each other. What? What? No, actually, um, like at Cole. Pierce Is that County, when they do it? Pierce County got soccer. Atkinson County got soccer. Ware County got soccer. It's and they do it at the same time right yeah. after? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah. yeah there you go, man. Because you, um, soccer is just like the other sports. You can go to district, I mean, and play in district tournament, play in state oh, tournament and all man. that. So if I don't get it this year right here, I'm definitely going to have it next year. So everybody, I'm, I'm, well, I'm really good, pressing hard man. on trying to do it this year. Though. That is good. All right, Daniel with another kick. There's a good kick. He angles it over here. Number 17, Reeves with the ball. He's going to cut back to the right, trying to hit the sideline. Good blocking over there. He's got the sideline. AC, look out with them long legs. Daniel will run him out of bounds. Hmm. Good job, Grayson. Run him out of bounds, or he was gone, AC. Yeah, I thought he was, too. Hey, that's why they say that sideline your best friend. That's right. <laughs> Here come the Bulldogs. All right. Bulldogs going to. Got to put something together on offense. Got to be late here in the fourth quarter. Can't be much time left, AC. I don't think it is, Ellen. 36 to nothing. Panthers on top. Allen at quarterback, number nine to the right of him. That is uh, Yearby. Allen with, oh, he almost lost it. He's going to scoop it up. Looking downfield, throws it. Good catch there by Yearby. He'll pick up eight, nine yards. Uh, 
and a half yard gain for the Bulldogs. Pick number 66 in there blocking hard for Lanier. That's Mason Chestnut. An offensive line along with 77, Braden Watson. And the Bulldogs, they break the huddle and hustle to the line. That big nose guard for the Panthers over the ball. He's going to throw a little hitch over here. Man, he made one miss. Boy, there's another one he ain't going to miss. Bryant won't miss. Miller had him. I don't know if Miller might have been trying to go for the ball. That ain't Miller. That's number nine, AC. That's, that's white. white. That's white. Mm -hmm. He might have. Boy, I thought he was going to have a pick six for a minute. That is the ball game. When that was the last play of the game, man, the Panthers will get out of here with a 36 to nothing win. Man, AC, I appreciate you coming in here helping us, man. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I'm about to go try to jump on that zero turn and steal me about an hour and about 30 <laughs> man, now's minutes. Now's the time to do it, Yeah, why it's cooled off a little bit. Lock the gate where nobody <laughs> can come in and bother you. Put them shades on where they can't right. tell where you're looking at. <laughs> well, brother, yeah. we'll see you Friday at the game, and, of course, we'll be at the Rick Park Monday to watch the middle school girls softball. Okay. All Before right. we get out of here, I'm going to give a shout-out to our sponsors. We have Clayton Holmes of Waycross, Pizza Inn and Waycross, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Fam Pharmacy, Big Daddy's on Highway 84. If you can't make it to Macon County, they'll have all eight TVs tuned in Friday night. Adam Toll and Burt CPA, Napa of Homerville, Dre Snack Shack, Huey's, Homerville Jewelers, Mr. Ash and the Dairy Queen, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Metal. Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Paramedicine Program, Homerville and Fargo Feed and Seed, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. If anybody would love to become a sponsor and be added to the Creek Box family, if you'll let me and Daniel know, we'd love to hook you up. As our captain, Mr. Barry and Sutton, used to say, y'all please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you Friday at 630.